Oh my god. I never had so much candy in my whole life. This video is awesome. Hey guys, I'm Aaron and welcome to Aaron Plays Fun Fact. In each episode, we invite our friends to ask Aaron fun facts they really want to know. Let's take a look at today's Ask Aaron video. Aaron, my name is Matteo. I live in Quebec, Canada. I would like to know the secrets of bonbons. Thank you, Aaron. Au revoir. Thanks, Matteo. There's no question that we love candy. We give it to those we love on Valentine's Day. Get it from the Easter Bunny from Easter. Ask our neighbors for it on Halloween. And get a stocking full of it from Santa. At Christmas, we eat it at the movies, we eat it at home, we even eat it all year round while we drive around our cars. Candy brings us so much joy except when we visit our dentist. Fact number one, presidential jelly beans. During Ronald Reagan's 1981 inauguration, Jelly Belly served more than three tons of jelly beans because the president developed a love of jelly beans after he started eating them to kick his smoking habit. It's no wonder that Ronald Reagan loved Jelly Bellies. These jelly beans come in more than 50 different tastes, from watermelon to popcorn, so there is a Jelly Belly flavor for every occasion. In Harry Potter series, J.K. Rowling created a candy called Birdie Bots Every Flavored Beans. Since 2007, the Jelly Belly Company have been producing a line of jelly beans with a maniacal purpose. Each Bean Boozle collection includes gross out flavors like barf, dirty dishwasher, toothpaste, dead fish, booger, rotten egg, canned dog food, stink bug, spoiled milk, stinky socks. It's a really fun party game. Fact number two, World War II seas. During World War II, the US military valued them a source of quick energy. And because they wouldn't melt in hot weather or go bad over time, the inventor, Hirschfeld, named these wrapped treats in honor of his five-year-old daughter, whose nickname was Tootsie. Nowadays, 64 million Tootsie Rolls get made every day. Fact number three, Hershey's Secret. The company's founder, Milton Hershey, stopped attending school after fourth grade. He tried and failed and tried again before he found success in candy business. Although his own education was cut short, Hershey opened a school to provide educational opportunities for the local community. All Hershey's Kisses has a white paper stripe that comes out of the top of the wrapper. But do you know what's it called? This little flag is actually called a plume. No one knows how Kisses got their name, not even the company. Milton Hershey's took that secret to his grave. Fact number four, Snickering Snickers. Hungry? Grab a Snickers. You'll probably know the famous campaign and slogan. But did you know where the name Snickers came from? Inventor Frank Mars actually had a favorite horse named Snickers. You may not be counting how many peanuts are in the chocolate bar, but the number of nuts per bar is always the same. Each of the regular sized bar contains 16 peanuts. With global sales of 3.6 Billion dollars. Snickers are the number one best-selling candy bars in the world. Fact number five, Lollipop Guild. We're not horsing around. This is another candy fact that was spurred by a galloping racehorse. Famous candy inventor George Smith tried his lick, uh, I mean luck, on the racetrack. In 1908, he invented a now famous hard candy on a stick. 
and named it after his favorite racehorse, Lolly Pop. Actually, lollipops have been around for a long time. Ancient African and Asian societies created fruits and nut treats that they candied in honey, then insert a stick into the treat to make them easier to eat. World's largest lollipop weighs 7,000 pounds, not like this one, but like that one. Fact number six, candy corn craze. Candy corn, also known as chicken feed, is the top selling candy in the US. Today, it's owned by the famous Jelly Belly company. Jelly Belly can make 3,500 pounds of this candy every hour. That's more than 35 million pounds every year. Each piece of candy corn has only seven calories? As long as you contain your munching to under 14 pieces, you can enjoy them as a tasty 100 calorie snack. They do contain a lot of sugar though, so if you're on a diet, I suggest you do not touch it. Fact number seven, burst your bubble. Ever try to blow a giant bubble gum to only have it pop on your face? You might be doing it wrong. In order to blow a huge bubble gum bubble, you need to chew it until all the sugar has dissolved. The reason? Sugar doesn't stretch. Once the flavor is gone, practice slowly and blow your bubble evenly. The largest bubble gum bubble recorded to date was 20 inches in diameter. The person used three pieces of double bubble. One of the most famous but false fact is swallowed bubble gum will stay in your stomach for seven years. Yes, swallow gum cannot be digested and broken down by your body, but it doesn't remain in your stomach. The gum moves its way through your body and comes out in your, yeah. Wait, how do you blow up again? Fact number eight, over the rainbow. Every day, Skittle makes 200 million of its own original bag. When you look at how many that makes over a course of a year, it's enough Skittles to reach from the Earth to the moon. Millions of Skittles are made every day in roughly equal amounts, which are assorted in the bag in the store that you can buy. However, if you actually already opened up a bag and counted how many of each color are there, you may notice that there are way more yellow ones. Fact number nine, fizzling old wolf sorry. It's been said that if you drink Coca-Cola and eat Pop Rocks at the same time, you will explode. That is definitely not true, but you can have some gas for sure. When Coca-Cola and Pop Rocks combine, the pressurized carbon dioxide in the candy is released. That's what makes the fun popping sensation. When combined with carbonated soda, there is even more carbon dioxide gas. If you do a science experiment with a bottle of soda, a package of Pop Rocks or Mentos, and a balloon, you can see this gas build up when it inflates the balloon. When you use your body as a vessel in this experiment, it will just make you burp. So the experiment is I'm gonna put a mento in my mouth and then drink some Coca-Cola. Okay, ready? Wow, that is really gassy. So, this time we're gonna put Mentos in the Coke bottle. Ready? Three, two, one. Yep, that's what happens. Then it goes down. all the way to where I was. Fact number 10, 
I'd like to share an inspirational story about a teenage girl and her candy. When Alina Morse was seven years old, she went to the bank with her dad, and the teller offered her a lollipop. While she really wanted to accept it, her parents always told her that candy was horrible for her teeth. So she asked her dad, why can't we make our lollipop that's actually good for our teeth? In that moment, the ideas of Zollipops were born. Together, Alina and her dad set off to make delicious lollipop treats that was actually good for teeth. In 2014, the first Zollipop treats hit the shelf. A delicious, vegan, natural, sugar-free candy, Alina became known as the Lollipop Girl, a true pioneer of kids' beats. Alina has been featured in Forbes, on multiple talk shows, magazines, and was even brought to the White House by Michelle Obama. Wow, you can be a millionaire by eating candy or selling candies. Doesn't that sound like a perfect dream come true? But I believe Alina and her family put a lot of effort to make that dream come true. That's a life lesson that I learned. If you try something hard enough, you can always do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit a like, subscribe if you haven't already, ring the notification bell, leave a comment down below. Well, that's it for today. See you guys next time. Peace.